And next up we have Alexander Zorowski. Um, he's the marketing director of Scientific, Scientific Park Kievska Polytechnica. I would like to thank Your Excellency and both Alexanders for their very sophisticated speeches. And I feel like the 80% of my work has been already done here. What is uh, Science uh, Park Kievska Polytechnica? Science Park is one of the organizational structures of the uh, National Technical University of Ukraine. A National uh, Technical University is the largest university in Ukraine and one of the largest technical universities in Europe that has a long history uh, starting from 19th century, uh, has uh, tens uh, or even hundreds of great scientific graduates that it's very proud of. Uh, those graduates include uh, famous scientists like Igor Sikorsky, the inventor of the first helicopter, the inventors of uh, tens of other uh, great inventions, uh, including rocket science, space science, and uh, other natural sciences technologies. So uh, speaking of a university, um, it has around 40,000 tech students and around 10,000 uh, scientists and various professionals from the tech field. Um, 27% of all the graduates of, uh, of all IT graduates of Ukraine actually come from National Technical University of Ukraine. But what's important is the relation of the university with innovations, with business, and with research and education. If uh, we take a good look at this uh, scheme right here, we can see that the university was able to create a very uh, complicated uh, scheme where uh, it could work with uh, various uh, innovators starting from scratch from university, uh, its own students. Uh, it has created its own uh, innovation uh, business incubator, incubator that helps uh, develop innovations to, uh, to the uh, stage where innovations are ready to uh, uh, meet investors. It also uh, has a school that it has recently started, a school that teaches uh, young professionals, young students, uh, to create their own ideas and implement their ideas from just ideas into actual industrial prototypes or uh, actual business. After that, uh, university has created a Sikorsky challenge, a so-called startup challenge, where uh, prepared students, prepared individuals, and uh, young businessmen are welcome to present their technologies and their young startups to a round of investors that university is able to invite from all over the world. Uh, speaking of inventors, even though the university has its own 40,000 students and 10,000 scientific um, uh, personnel, uh, it is not, um, a uh, university is not limiting itself to its own um, minds. It, it is also open to all other Ukrainian students and scientists who, who have their own inventions. So what does uh, what does uh, Science Park and its brand Polytechno uh, operate in? Uh, there are different uh, fields, as you can see, and some of them are here on the slide, but since the university has around 30 different departments in various scientific fields, uh, this screen would not be enough to cover all the fields that university and their si uh, university scientists are engaged in. Some of the, of the main ones are over here, uh, which is airspace, cybersecurity, media and telecommunications, government, and so on. Uh, just, um, just to give you the general idea of the most prepared technologies that we already have today that are ready to uh, meet a round of investors and are open for uh, further development, 
our products and services in areas of cybersecurity, drones, space technologies, and cloud sourcing and outsourcing. Um, I, will, I will just give you a brief overview of some of the main products we have. Uh, one of them is HoneyNet, uh, the software that analyzes behavior of uh, malware attacks in enterprise environments. What, uh, what this uh, software is really doing, it's uh, helping us to identify a potential attack and attacker uh, that is performing attack on, on the, uh, our software, on the client software. Not only it helps identify the attacker, it also helps answer different questions like who is uh, all the different data that comes from uh, from the cyber terrorists, uh, including investigation capabilities, target uh, market analytics, and even early detection of controlled information leakage. The other product that we have is uh, social media monitoring. What this product is uh, used for, uh, it's most commonly used for uh, companies that are searching for potential employees but what they're doing is they, they want to perform a preliminary research of a potential employee, and uh, they do uh, go ahead and sign a legal agreement where potential employees <coughs> agree that a, a background search will be performed. And uh, this uh, software right here helps uh, simplify the process. It helps uh, gather all the information from all social media networks about a certain personality or even a number of personalities and uh, helps uh, bring it all together for further analysis. Uh, if, you, um, if you are able to input different criteria, the analysis could be performed, uh, your analysis could be performed by the software itself. Um, uh, going uh, further to drones, uh, as you might, uh, as you might have heard, uh, this area has been very uh, uh, rapidly growing in the last uh, decade, and especially with different conflicts taking uh, places around the world, uh, this uh, technology has uh, another potential, not only for military purposes but also for civil uh, purposes. Uh, our university is able not only to uh, build uh, drones for a number of various purposes, but also very complicated software that helps uh, control and um, exchange data with, with the drone that is being sent to uh, a specific area. There is two different types of data that is being exchanged. First is just information data uh, in terms of um, various locations and so on. The other is uh, video and images. Uh, unfortunately, the quality is not very high here, but um, uh, uh, very high definition images that are taken by drones are uh, being sent to the data center and analyzed further on. This software and hardware altogether is being uh, produced by our university, Science Park, uh, including Science Park. Going further to space technologies, uh, the university was able to launch its first nano uh, satellite just around a month ago. It was launched into the stratosphere. It's around um, uh, this size. And um, uh, what it's doing, it's analyzing climate change and stratosphere, sending the data using our software back to our, si uh, our science center and uh, analyzing all the uh, climate change that's uh, going on today. We also have further research going underway in this field. Uh, the services that uh, University and Science Park are able to perform are um, uh, space cleaning services. There's a lot of space junk, as we know, in the space today. Uh, we have the capability, uh, the software and manufacturing capability to build special uh, space objects that would be able to, uh, to be launched into space and uh, clean space junk. That's one uh, service. The other service would be to perform different technical 
tasks on already uh, existing objects in space, different existing satellites. For instance, if uh, a solar panel breaks down, it needs to be changed. We have the capability to send our satellites to fix these issues. And of course, we are open for investors and uh, further business opportunities in these, in these areas to further uh, proceed in, uh, uh, in these achievements. This is just a few pictures of the laboratories where our students and scientists are able to perform their tests and build uh, uh, various uh, uh, prototypes of future satellites and satellites themselves because they are being built from small pieces and uh, put together and further launched. Um, going further to R&D and software, probably the main t uh, topic of uh, today's meeting here. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, ready uh, programmer groups that are working on various software applications today. Uh, there are approximately 33 programmer groups at the university that work in different specializations. Each group has around four to five members, including a team member that controls uh, the task. And um, uh, of course, these groups, given the history of the university and area of its specialty, perform any complexity tasks. Uh, just some of the uh, outsourcing uh, services that we perform are here in the slide, but I'm willing to further answer your questions in person after uh, our speeches are done. And uh, going back to the Sikorsky Challenge Festival, it's one of the posters we use uh, to uh, attract students from all over Ukraine with their uh, inventions uh, to our university. And each year we hold uh, a startup challenge that I've talked about where around uh, 50 to 100 different teams with their startups are able to show their achievements and seek investment. So uh, this is just one of our social activities that I wanted to mention. All other questions I will be happy to answer after my speech and I'm happy to announce that there are uh, a couple of representatives here of our university uh, present that will also help me answering questions. I thank you very much. Thank you.